What if there was a hidden mathematical pattern underlying all price action? A secret that could help you to anticipate market reversals, consolidations, and explosive moves even before they happen. In today's video, I'm going to reveal the secret mathematics behind goldback trading. You'll discover how prime numbers, the famous goldback conjecture, and powerful concepts like the Tesla vortex can dramatically transform your trading precision. Have you ever felt frustrated drawing endless lines and guessing which ones matter? Keep watching because Goldback is about to simplify your trading in a way you've never seen before. So what exactly is Goldback's conjecture and why does it matter for traders? Simply put, it's a famous mathematical hypothesis that states that every even number greater than two can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. So let me break this down for you. We like the numbers from zero to 100. Reason being is they can be expressed as a percentage. So then you can have 0% to 100%. This is your dealing range. So what does Goldback's conjecture state? Every even number greater than two, so let's take our 100, can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. So we need to find numbers that add up to 100 that are prime. Okay, so we have 3 and 97, 11 and 89, 17 and 83, 29 plus 71, 41 plus 59. Now, if you have seen my callback videos before, these numbers will look very familiar. This is why I'm going through the mathematics because a lot of people get confused about the origins of Goldback. So I'm going to break it down for, for you from the initial mathematics. So remember, we want a dealing range expressed as percentages and we use Goldback's conjecture to create these primes. Now, why does that matter for your trading? Imagine your price chart has a dealing range from a clearly defined low, which is our 0%, to a clearly defined high, 100%. So using these Goldback prime partitions, we can turn those into percentages. So then we have 3%, 11%, 17%, 29%, 41%, and then we use these sides, 59%, 71%, 83%, 89%, 97%, and for sake of good order, we'll show you the 100%. And we will show you the 0%, okay, as the high and the low. So this is the low, this is the high, okay. Now, the 0 and 100 aren't technically Goldback conjecture numbers, okay, but for convenience, we have them, as well as 50%. We have the equilibrium there, okay. This is very handy for trading, and these extremes of the range, as well as equilibrium, is extremely important to trading. Now, why do these numbers matter? Because you can then map these out as predictable zones and price regularly respects these prime base levels, creating reliable points of reaction well in advance. Now, if you would like a deep dive into exactly how goldback trading works, you can click the link in the top right of this video. But this is about the mathematics and I'm going to continue with the mathematics now. So now we have these Goldback numbers and you should understand where they came from. Okay, we introduced the Tesla vortex. So that's where Goldback meets Tesla's secret numbers, which are three, six and nine. So Nikola Tesla famously said, if you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. Tesla believed that these numbers were fundamental to the universe's structure, representing a code that governs energy, frequency, and vibration. So Tesla's fascination with these numbers is evident in various aspects of his life and work. For instance, he often performed actions in sets of three and was meticulous about using numbers divisible by three in his experiments. He believed that the numbers three, six, and nine had unique properties that could unlock the secrets of the universe. So let me explain to you what the Tesla vortex is now. Okay, so the Tesla vortex says that numbers 
weren't invented. Numbers are an artifact of the fundamental workings of the universe. And Tesla's vortex numbers are three, six, and nine. And he said, these numbers hold the key to the universe. Okay, why are they so special? So if you look at the digital numbers that we have, if you have the number one and you double it, you get the number two. Okay, you have the number two, you double it, you get the number four, four, double, you get eight, eight, double, you get 16. Now, let me teach you about digital roots. If you have a number more than one digit, such as 16, which is two digits, you sum those two numbers and then you get the seven, okay? So now we have seven. So we double eight, you get 16. One plus six is seven. Double seven equals 14. Okay, the digital root of 14 is five. So now we have our five. Okay, double five, we get 10. The digital root of 10 is one plus zero, which is one, so we're back to one again. Okay, so what numbers do we have? Because if you double one, you go back to two. So we're back in a loop. Okay, so what numbers do we have? One, two, we're missing three, four, five, we're missing six, seven, eight, we're missing nine. Okay, these Tesla numbers cannot be formed using the digital roots. Interestingly, three plus six creates nine. Okay. Double three, you get six. Okay, these are the numbers. Okay, these are the keys to the universe. So the way that locks into go back is we use the power of three numbers as our dealing ranges. Okay, if you would like me to go into more detail on the Tesla Vortex, let me know and I can do a whole video on it <laughs> and a lot of history. But I think this gives you an overview of why three, six, and nine are so significant. Okay, and why we use those. And I'll explain to you now how we use the power of three numbers with the goal back conjecture numbers. So what is important in trading? It is the dealing range from the low to the high. And we can define the dealing ranges using the power of three numbers and mathematics. So let's say EURUSD, so this is EURUSD, is trading at 1.05. Zero, zero. And let me just define that for you. Okay, if price is trading here, we can tell you exactly what the dealing range high and low is using mathematics. So what do we do? First, we remove the decimal point. Actually, I'll do it as steps for you so you don't get lost. Step number one, what is the current price? So let's say price was trading here. Step number two, remove the decimals. So we have, then you need to select your power of three number. So the power of three numbers are three, nine, 27, two, four, three, and so on. So if we use our power of three number as two, four, three, and this relates to the time frame that we want to trade on. So we have our power of three number. We then divide the price without the decimals, one, zero, five, zero, zero, by two, four, three. One, zero, five, zero, zero, divided by our power of three number, two, four, three. And we want the integer part, okay? So it's roughly two, one, zero, seven, and we just care about the integer. So we care about the 43. So essentially what we're saying is this number here, this price representation is the 43rd dealing range from the lowest dealing range, okay? And where does that de dealing range start? The low of the dealing range is, each dealing range is 243 pips big, and this is the 43rd dealing range. Therefore, the low of the dealing range is 10449. And let's just ensure that we are using the same format. So let's put the decimal back in 1.0449. This is the low of the dealing range. Okay. And then the high of the dealing range would just be the low of the dealing range, 449 plus your 243 pips. 
is 1.0692. So this is the high of the dealing range, okay, which is also the low of the dealing range above it. Okay, so let's open up the indicator to show you this. Now, if you would like a comprehensive overview of how to use the go back indicator, click the video in the top right now. So 243 is our power of three number. We want to know the high and the low of the dealing range. So the low is the same number, 1.0449, 1.0449. And the high of the dealing range is 1.0692, 1 1.0692. Okay, so this is the mathematics of the dealing ranges. Now you know why you do this calculation because you want to know how many dealing ranges high is this current price action, given that the low of the dealing range, the absolute low is the one at zero. So it's the 43rd dealing range, okay? A lot of mathematics for you, but hopefully you're gonna start understanding why it's important. Now, why are these partitions important? 3%, 11%, and so forth. These partitions, when we apply it to the 243 pips, tell us where the ICT premium discount arrays will form. Okay, so between 0 and 3%, we'll have the order block. Between 11 and 17%, we'll have the fair value gap, liquidity void, breaker, equilibrium, and so on. Do you understand how it all fits together now? Now, it goes a lot deeper because within a 243 pip dealing range, so 243 is the power of three number, we also have fractal dealing ranges. So you actually have, so if, the, if this is the dealing range, you will have three smaller ones inside it. My bad. 27, 81. There we go. I missed a power of three number. There we go. So you'll have three dealing ranges within it, which are each 81 pips big. There's one. Okay, and then I'll show you the shifts. So if you want to shift it down and see what the dealing range is below, when we're looking at the 81, you would use this function, shift dealing range down one. There's the second dealing range. And then there's the third dealing range. Now, the key thing is you have to understand for your trading strategy, which power of three number you need to use, as well as how and when you need to ride these dealing ranges, because there are a number of algorithms that run through the dealing ranges. And if you go through my videos and watch them by order of most popular, you'll start to come across the algorithms. Okay, the final piece is time. Okay, algorithms start at a specific time. So if you would like to learn more about Goldback, there's a link to Hoppy's official book on Goldback in the description of this video. And if you would like to learn exactly how I trade an advanced version of Goldback using my time and price golden bullet, which I use to trade index futures, forex, metals, energies, and crypto, there's a link to my mentorship below.